take those eyesores from ugh to amazing with these 21 ingeniously easy ways to hide the ugly stuff in your home by Peggy Wang. 1. Build a window cornice to hide ugly drapery rods and add a touch of polish to your windows. Instructions. Design a cornice to fit your home. Choose the wood type, molding style, and finishing you want to use. Select materials and collect key tools. If you plan to paint your cornices, poplar and aspen are good choices for the box materials. Assemble the basic box. Every cornice begins the same way, with cutting and assembling the three-sided lidded box. Then you add the trim of your choice and finish the cornice. Apply the trim. When mitering the trim for the box, always start by first cutting and mounting an end trim piece, then the long front trim, and finally the other end. Smooth and finish the cornice. Fill nail holes and prime before painting. Finish highly detailed natural and stained wood with spray lacquer, shellac, or polyurethane. Mount the cornice over the window. Number two, conceal your router in fancy storage boxes. Just use a fancy storage box or other container, make cable holes at the back, and put the devices inside. Three, or hollow out an old book. Take the book inside, then use the book cover to cover your router inside. Number four, hide unsightly pipes in the basement behind mini blinds. You don't want to be staring at those while folding your laundry. This will make the whole basement feel revamped. Number five, cover up an AC unit with a chalkboard cover. You'll have to build a wooden frame, but if you have any carpentry skills whatsoever, it's oh so worth it. Directions. Step one, my AC unit has a frame molding around it. This frame will be how the box or cover will be attached to the wall. I measured the top and bottom and added three quarters by two which is one and a half inches to the measurement. Step two, drill three holes on the ends of the top and bottom pieces with a countersink. Lay out top, sides, and bottom piece and fasten with some wood screws and a screwdriver. Step three, cut plywood to fit the top of the assembled frame. Mark each corner and sides with a pencil. Pre-drill with a countersink bit. Fasten top with wood screws using a screwdriver. Step four, First, cover the AC unit with a thick trash bag and secure with duct tape. Attach the cover to the frame to make sure it all fits. Step 5. Take the cover off and place insulation inside the cover. This will protect from an unwanted draft during the winter months. Paint the cover with chalkboard paint. Let it dry according to the manufacturer's instructions. Use a drill with a countersink bit. Drill two holes on each side closest to the wall. Place the cover onto the frame and fasten with a screw using a screwdriver. Step six, the top of the cover makes for a great shelf. Number six, similarly hide a thermostat or home alarm with a canvas on hinges. All it takes is a flip to access it. Just find some canvas art that you like. For perspective, this canvas artwork is 24 by 32 inches. Then attach the hinges. We felt that three one and one half inch hinges makes the cover sturdy enough to be opened frequently without compromising the artwork or drywall. Screw the hinges into the artwork first, then figure out where you want it on the wall. Do your calculations, mark the spots where the screw should go, and screw it into the wall. Number seven, wallpaper the fridge. They make removable wallpaper just for this purpose. Or paint it all up.
8, or give it a coat of chalkboard paint. A great place to add decorative doodles, grocery lists, and to-do lists. Number 9. Cover up those cheap-looking wire shelves in a pantry or closet. They did this for only $28. Project Needs Three and a half inch wide molding to cover over wire shelf cups are only expense. Pre-cut to specifications at Lowe's or Home Depot. Instructions. Clean up the space, cut the molding with the measure specification. Then remove the wire shelves, clean them, as well as give the space a refreshing coat of paint. Paint shelf pieces separately outside before putting together and let it dry well in the sun. When you're adding molding, run a bead of glue, then use the finishing nails to hold together. Camouflage nails or hammer marks with wood filler, let it dry and lightly sand. After the shelves are installed, give the shelves a quick refresher coat to cover marks and clean up. By simply utilizing the existing wire shelves as the new shelf bracket, fit the new shelf shroud over the top of the wire shelves. More ideas. Hey guys, it's Natalie from this Milk and Honey Life vlog. This is a quick video showing how I organize and purge my utensil drawer from messy back to a functional and less stressful drawer. The utensil holder I had before wasn't working anymore. It didn't have enough space to house all the utensils we had, so I rounded up all the different containers I had around the house I previously purchased from the Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree has a great variety of styles to pick from. And remember, if you're heading out, to always measure the drawer before you purchase. The first step is to clear everything out of the drawer. This serves two purposes. One, it allows you to clean and disinfect the drawer. And then it also gives you a chance to sort through and purge what you don't need or use anymore. Now it's time to purge. So we have these small dessert and forks and spoons and a random metal spoon we never used. So I took them out and then went straight to the donation pile. Now that everything is sorted and clean, it's time to put it back. I purchased a spin from Target a few years ago. They still carry similar styles if you're interested. There should be in the kitchen organization section. So I started putting odds and ends back, things that I don't use on an everyday basis. So I put that towards the back of the drawer. Now I didn't have a set layout when I started, so I kind of just played around with the bins until I found a layout I liked. Luckily, these bins were flexible, so I had a little bit more wiggle room on how they were placed. I used my solid white bin to house some sharp knives I had. And then with the remaining area I had available, I just put in some other kitchen tools that needed to be put away. In less than 20 minutes, my drawer went from hot mess back to a functional and less stressful drawer using bins I already had lying around my house. Number 10. Use clear, Muji bottle dispensers as an elegant way to store your not-so-pretty beauty products. Your Cetaphil and Dandruff shampoo don't need to be broadcast to the world. Empty the product into one of these lovely Muji pump bottles. 11. Use doormats and spray paint to make a decorative vent or electrical box cover. Instructions. Take a decorative outdoor rubber mat, try to find one that allows plenty of airflow, meaning that the doormat has a large amount of space in between the rubber sections. Clean it off a little with some Armor All tire cleaner. Then, just spray paint the outdoor rubber mat with a metallic copper color. Then put in two screws and hang up the doormat. So easy. Number 12. Use an inexpensive printed canvas from Ikea to hide your flat screen TV. A TV doesn't have to be the centerpiece of your living room. Here is how they did this. They got printed canvas from Ikea, which is very lightweight. Then they took a trip to Home Depot and bought two L brackets and screwed them into the canvas frame. They added rubber to the underside of the bracket so it wouldn't damage the TV at all. They just hooked it right over the TV. When you do it, ask a friend to help you hold it. Number 13. Hide your cords in trim. This will make your television blend in seamlessly with your mantle and fireplace. This is how they accomplished it. Step 1. Draw a plan out on paper. Mount the television. Centered, of course. The important point is to screw the mounting bracket into studs behind the wall. Unmount the television. 
Then draw all over your wall lightly with pencil or chalk. Mark the center, mark the left and right edges of the trim work to be. Mark where your cords exit the television on each side. Step two, create vertical channels. Make sure the vertical channels are wide enough to hold the cords you have, but narrow enough that a piece of lattice can cover the gap and overlap the channel enough to be nailed into place. Step three, create horizontal channels. You just need your exterior lines to be perfect because the mess of the interior will be covered. Step four, add additional channels for balance and interest. Nail the channel pieces and non-functioning cover pieces down to the wall, but only tape the cover pieces that would be hiding cords under. Step five, remount the TV and attach the cords. Make sure to pull extra lengths of the cords through the channels. Step six, take down the TV and paint it all up. Use some spackle on the noticeable gaps between the trim pieces. It is white and paintable. Done. Number 14, update a dresser to create a drawer for your printer. Your giant gray printer relic doesn't exactly fit into your classic modern decor. Let's get the instructions for this clever DIY. The IKEA drawer fronts are attached with wooden dowels and two metal screws. Remove all the pieces allowing the front panel piece to be freestanding. Next, the particle board bottom is grooved into the front panel piece, so in order for it to be able to fold down and back up, the bottom board couldn't go into that groove anymore, so just use an X-Acto knife and cut it off. Use three 2.5 inch utility hinges and a right hand and left hand support hinge. Attach these all together and secure the hinge into place. The final step is drilling a small hole in the back of the drawer, through the bottom, to feed the power cable through to the printer. Number 15. Turn wires into wall art with these wire bloom clips. If you can't hide it, put a bird on it, or build an equally cute mini fence. 16. Stash your laundry hampers in extra deep drawers. No one wants to see your messy, overflowing piles of dirty clothes. This is how they did this. They built drawer fronts to put on the face of the drawer to match the doors, then added lighting into the closet that automatically turns on and off when the door opens. 17. Transform a plain door with painted masking tape. This easy DIY adds depth and class to any boring entryway. 18. For a window AC unit, hang cafe-style curtains on a tension rod. 19. This crown molding shelf hides your paper towels, and you can put pretty things on top like candles and fancy perfume bottles. 20. Put a styrofoam cooler inside of an IKEA wicker chest. Just because you're having a party doesn't mean you have to compromise your rustic decor. And last, number 21. Use a stenciled pegboard to cover up an ugly wall. In this situation, there were pipes on the wall, so wallpaper or tiles weren't an option. The pegboard also maximized storage because it makes you able to hang shelves easily. Instructions. Buy a large stencil that has better quality from the craft store. Use paint to do the stencil on this pegboard. Carefully measure every single thing that you have to go around. The sink faucet, the window, the shutoff valve behind the washer, and the drain spout over the sink. Make sketches when necessary. Take small blocks and use concrete screws to screw in around the perimeter of where the pegboard should go. Put a longer, narrower block of wood right under the windowsill. Then screw the pegboard to the small blocks of wood with regular sheetrock screws that are drilled into the cinder block wall. That's it. See you again next with another 21 ways to hide ugly stuff in your house. Like this video before you go, or better yet, share it with your friends. Comment on it if you have something to say and press the subscribe button if you want to find our upcoming videos in your email. Thanks for watching.